YouTube, it's my Ethan Marie. I'm back with a video. I'm on my way home from work. I'm going back to work. I'm just taking a lunch break. Because I am expecting my shed today. I am, oh, I know I'm smacking with this gun. <laughs> I'm excited because I'm gonna get, get my shed today for my um, hair salon. The guy is on the way to my house and I'm on the way to my house tell him where to put it so this is a milestone for success okay so this shelf came this is the only thing that came in the shed well it's got some two lights this shelf I'm gonna get it dropped down my boyfriend's coming over today he's gonna drop it it's gonna be like a desk desk level and I'm gonna give me like a rolling chair so I'm gonna make this sort of like a desk slash storage um shelf so Kevin is here and he helped well me and the boys all of us brought this shelf down and it's gonna be at wait it's at my really at my hip level not my waist it's at my hip level. You want to say hey? Hi. <laughs> Where are you going to put this water? I don't know. Oh, at the top. All right, y'all. So, I got the, my new iPhone today. It's so pretty. So, Kevin been lying to me. He lied to me the whole time he's been here. Because I said, where my phone? Didn't it come yesterday? And he was like, what phone? It didn't come yesterday. What you talking about? I'm like, dude, I saw the tracking number. I looked at it. It said it's going to be there by 7. Then we up in here putting the shed together. I come in here and it's just sitting here like this. Hold on. I'm going to fight. I bet. The first thing I was able to do, I couldn't do a lot earlier, so I had to wait. But I could go ahead and put my mirror up, which is what I did first i think that was the first thing i did but yeah i put my mirror up it wasn't too hard to do it was um just one panel i may end up putting another mirror on the back of the door i'm not sure yet but i want another mirror in there somewhere um because i didn't have any drywall up um i had to attach everything to the studs which is not a bad thing at all because it if you have everything attached through the studs in the wall, then you know ain't nothing falling, uh, ain't nothing gonna fall down if you have it hung up right. The shed is not, there's no drywall. I'm going to shed, like a honey house. If he die in here, his soul going to be in here. Kill him out there. Oh, that's a bug. Bugs have souls in them. All right, so just to give a rundown, what I have planned for this shed is it's already insulated. It's already wired. Only thing I have to do is connect the power. Um, There's no floor. Right now, it's only subfloor, but I am... I am going to put a floor down because I don't want to mess up the subfloor. And I am not, I am not going to put any drywall in here at all. Yeah, I don't need drywall right now anyway. I'm not going to do that right now. The most important thing is I get the power connected and I get the floor down and I get the AC in here. Once I get the power, I'll bring the AC and then I'll do the floor. <laughs> it's a new day. And hold on. Check this out, y'all. Check this out. Wait. Ooh, that was bright too. All right. I went to Walmart. I went to Walmart and I picked up three of these. And I got a feeling it's not enough. I'm cheap and I wanted this to be. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back if I need some more. 
Yeah, so I definitely had to go back to Walmart and get another um box of uh, floor tile. And the floor tile that I got from Walmart, I was um they didn't have a lot for me for me to choose from, but I'm glad they had the one I did pick because it was really big, which means I had less work I had to do. These tiles were like double the size of a normal square, um, a square tile. I don't know what the standard size is, but they were like double that size. But anyway, I'm so doggone cheap. I went to Walmart. I actually did the math. My shed is a 12 by 12, I think. I did the math. I knew I needed 124, 144 square feet. And it said 30 square feet per box. I did the math. And I knew I needed four boxes. But I was just cheap and trying to think. I was really trying to hope three boxes would work. But I had to go get another one. But anyway, before I started to put the tiles down permanently, I um, just kind of put them down um, freely to see where they land and how I wanted them to to um, to lay. The only thing I really needed to um, to do the floor was uh, like a little blade and um, what else? I think I yeah measuring tape. Cause whenever I get to the wall where I can't use a whole piece, all I did was took the measuring tape, measure the space that's left, and take a piece of towel, measure to get measure to that land, and then just cut it off. And these uh, tiles are really easy to cut. All you have to do is um, cut the back, or yeah, you have to cut the back of it where the where it's sticky. At. If you cut that, and then you don't even have to cut it all the way through. Once you cut it, you can just snap it and it'll just snap right in the spot where you cut. So it was really easy to do. But the floor, it actually did take me, um, took me three nights to finish. Now the first night, I only didn't finish because I ran out. And the second night, I didn't finish because... Why didn't I finish the second night? I think it was dark and I was just... Um, why i forgot why i don't know but it took me three nights to finish the floor i did it three three separate nights yeah each box of the tile were like 24.98 at walmart which is kind of high when you think about it so this is kind of a, like a hundred dollar for a floor um it probably would have been a lot cheaper if i would have went somewhere like lowe's where you can get the tile for um like 50 cent a square foot um but like i said they, they're they kind of big so it's a lot less work and also i like the big tile the way i got them because it's less likely to show any uh cracks or unevenness with on the floor If you got some knee pads, it'll make doing a job like this much easier because um, being down on the floor on your knees is very, it can get painful after a while. So if you got some knee pads, um, that'll be a lot helpful. So this was the third night of me putting the floor down and you can see how much was left so i just needed that one little box to um to finish the floor and the reason i picked a color um like this is because hair is very 
like when you when you do hair and it start like with braids especially a lot of hair end up on the flow because you have to feather it and all that stuff so hair it end up in clumps and i felt like with a lighter color floor it'll be a lot easier for a cleanup when i can um you can see the hair and you can just sweep it up even though this is a very small room i still want to be able to easily see the hair in order to clean it up so i just know like if you have picked if i pick something darker like a darker gray or a dark like a black it just wouldn't be as easy to see the hair and just go ahead and clean it up and plus the hair is very light too so like if you sweeping a lot of time when i when you sweeping up hair it just fly around you'll never see that if you got a dark floor but if you it floors light you'll see you're not sweeping it it's just flying around but a lot of times i vacuum my hair up anyway i just use a vacuum cleaner because i ain't gonna be chasing no balls of hair um trying to clean up it's just too much work all right so underneath that shelf when i did the corners i knew I'm, i was gonna have two um shelves underneath like covering that floor parts i wanted to tile it anyway so i just used some scrap pieces that were already cut up and i used that for the corners and then when i got those filled in i used a brand new tile and i cut them going across to uh, put in that middle since that middle part under the shelf will be showing all right so when i got done with the floor um i went ahead and put my lights up now i have two 18 inch set of um uh, fixture lights the lights have like three sections where you screw them into the wall in order for them to hang up and because i don't have any drywall i had to put up a piece of wood as like a uh, anchor like a foundation or like a base so i have somewhere to hang my lights because i couldn't just use i couldn't just use the dog this boy i told him i was gonna put his dancing in my videos because he's shy and i was like i'm gonna add all that i'm not cutting it out he was like okay i don't care so that's why he dancing in my video but anyway i couldn't put the lights on the frame alone that wasn't enough so that's why i had to mount up a piece of wood and that the um the little piece of wood that you see up there that dark piece that's just a piece of scrap wood that i have left over from when i did my son's uh his bedroom floor so i put that up and then i then that gave me something to attach my lights to Now, this whole process, it's been over a month. I've been working on this shit for over a month now. And I've said some things that I have already changed. For example, the drywall. I said I wouldn't put no drywall in here, but now I've been thinking, me and my sister came up with this idea of using something else other than drywall, but that'll be in another video because this video is going to be way too long. But now I'm starting to think I want some drywall, at least on the main wall where my TV is going to be, because I don't want, um, I just want that wall to be secure, especially with my TV. And it's going to have other kind of uh, electronic stuff connected and hanging on that side. So I just might put drywall on that side for now, just to get my, my TV up, maybe. Okay, so the shelf that I have on the top and bottom of the, um, what is this called? It's like a shelf. So I basically had to take it apart in order to fit it, one at the bottom and one at the top. But I know for sure I'm going to have to screw those in so they don't tumble over or fall over. And then I want to make sure the bottom needs to have some kind of, um, some kind of way I need to stabilize it to where it don't open and like the sides don't fall open because uh, I don't want the shelves to fall down because that's those together is what help keep the bottom to um I guess straight and aligned so I'm gonna have to figure that out I figured out later
about water too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love you. This spicy water. You lying? No. I got um, a bottle of water. Boy, this tastes like chlorine. Look. What the rest of the water? All right, y'all, so this is pretty much the end of the video. The only thing I'm doing now is just putting some of my stuff on the shelves to get it out the way. And, um, yeah, this is going to be a long journey. Um, actually, my first day I'm going to start doing hair. Today is Thursday the 28th. And my first day I'm going to actually do hair in my shed is tomorrow. Well, I did my sister's hair, but... I didn't have my air conditioner in the shed yet, so my official day, first day, is going to be tomorrow. But anyway, y'all stay with me on this journey. I'm going to have a lot to do to this shed, and it's going to be a part two, a part, probably part three and four. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all next time.